guys, so today's video is going to be how I furnish my apartment under $2,000. Um, this is actually going to be a two-part series on my channel. This first part being more about how I personally furnish my apartment for under $2,000. And then the second video is going to be how to furnish your apartment under $2,000, where I kind of give a little bit more tips and tricks on how to do it yourself with your own personal choices and all your personal designs. So this video is going to be more about how I furnish my living space more than how I furnish like my bedroom because my bedroom, I'm actually sitting in it now and I've never filmed in here before and it's actually so echoey because I literally have nothing on the walls. The only thing I have in here is like this cool like wallpaper behind me. But other than that, everything that I have in here is from when I was like 15 years old that I bought with like my YouTube money and nothing has been really changed. It still looks exactly the same except there's nothing on the walls. Um, with this video I wanted to basically cover more of like the living space basically being like the living room, more of the kitchen area and the dining room because I feel like that's more of like a focal point of your apartment space. <laughs> And before I moved into this apartment that I'm living in now, I didn't have any furniture besides my bed stuff. I've lived with probably, I think, I did the math the other day. I think I've lived with about nine different roommates over the last four years. And everybody else always brought like a couch and dining room tables. I never really had to worry about supplying furniture, which was actually really great because I didn't have to worry about spending my own money on a furniture and waiting for it to get ruined or anything like that, which was super nice. When I moved in with Grant last, I think Memorial Day weekend is when we moved in together. We didn't have any furniture, he didn't have any couches, he didn't have a dining room table, and I wanted to buy something that was decently nice that was going to last me a couple of years. I'm expecting my furniture that I talk about in this video to last me a good 7-10 years, which I'm crossing my fingers and hopefully it will last. So the first thing that I started looking at was definitely a couch because it was going to be the most expensive thing that we were planning on buying. Um, I knew for myself I wanted to create like a budget and how much I was willing to spend for each and every item in my apartment. Um, for the couch, I knew I didn't want to spend anywhere above a thousand dollars. A thousand was basically max and how much I wanted to spend and I also wanted a sectional. I always wanted like a nice couch where everyone can lay out on. Um, we can have people spend the night and we never had to worry about having space for other people. So after figuring out that I wanted a sectional and the price I wanted to spend. I went to a couple big box furniture stores and also checked online as well to see what my options were and after looking at these big box furniture stores I was kind of discouraged because everything that I was looking at that was a sectional was around like $1,500 and up. Um, there was some for $2,000 and I was like there is no way I'm going to be able to afford that without taking out some kind of financing for it which was definitely not something I was wanting to do. And plus the people at the furniture stores, um, I know they're trying to be like salespeople and like sell their furniture, but a lot of them were very discouraging, I would say. Um, they would tell me, I've had people waiting since February for this couch and like, it's a pretty nice couch, isn't it? I'm like, yeah, and they're like, but, it, but it's like $2,000. And I'm like, okay, and? And it was, a, and it was, kind of ugly, I wasn't gonna lie, and I was just kind of like super annoyed by the salespeople. I just kind of wanted to look, like just get an idea of what I can afford and where I can get it from. So yeah, and then even looking online, everything was kind of pricey, and I was like, dang, I'm like, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to afford a sectional. And I'm like, maybe I'll have to get like a couch and a love seat. I was just so discouraged until I actually went into Big Lots. And I knew Big Lots sold furniture. Um, I actually bought like a cute little bar cart from there during COVID and I have it at my parents house but I was like I don't know about their couches and stuff but I just went to browse and after going to Big Lots I got super excited because I saw all these couches that they had and they were within my price range. Everything was under a thousand dollars even just for a standard couch and a sectional and I was like whoa I can actually buy these. So I'm like looking around and I see this one couch and I'm like, I really like it. It was like this gray, it had these cute pillows on it. It had like a blue and green or blue and gray carpet underneath. And I was like, I looked at it, I was like, I can see this in my apartment. 
So I took a picture of it, I sent it to my mom, and I sent it to Grant, and I was like, I really like this couch. And it was only $7.99, which I was like, that's not bad at all. So I was like, okay, obviously I'm not going to buy it today. Like, I'll think about it. Like, obviously I'm not going to just swipe my debit card. So after thinking about it from some time, every time I still went back into Big Lots, I still kept gravitating towards this couch. So one day I decided, I was on my phone, and I went on BigLots.com. I think it was... I don't know if it was Memorial Day. It was some kind of, it might have been 4th of July. I really don't remember. It was like some kind of holiday special they were running on Big Lots website. And this couch that I wanted was actually on sale for $100 off. And I was like, whoa, interesting. And then Big Lots also had a 20% off coupon, which if you're looking for furniture, definitely recommend Big Lots. Like they always have these deals. So I added it to my cart just for fun. So after adding it to my cart, it was $6.99, um, and then I had a 20% off coupon, but I also bought the ottoman with it, which I think was $2.19, and I think the total with all of that being my cart with the $100 off was around, I think $1,019, something like that, and I was like, okay, I applied my 20% off, um, and then I looked at shipping. And they had two options. One was to have it shipped to the store and you can pick it up for free. Or it was home delivery. So I contemplated on what I wanted to do. Was I like willing to rent a truck to go pick it up? Which that sounded very annoying and having to lift it into my apartment and deal with picking it up. Kind of very stressful. So I kind of passed on that one pretty immediately. Um, so I wanted it to be delivered to my apartment. And to be delivered with their at-home service that they have is like $149. And there's no way to waive that. Um, and the coupon code doesn't work for that. So I was like, honestly, it's fine. I have the 20% off coupon. Like, whatever. Like, it'll take the price off the couch. So I think total with the ottoman and the home delivery and the full couch itself, it came out to be $974. I'll put the receipt up here. Um, it took about four weeks or four to six weeks to come I think it came at the fifth week and they brought it in which was super nice um, it was all in boxes so we had to take it apart and put it together which I didn't do any of that grant did all when I was at work which was super convenient for me um, but yeah it was super cheap and I love it um, I'll insert some clips here of what the couch looks like we ended up buying pillow covers for the pillows that it came with because after seeing in the apartment it really didn't match the colors we had going on but yeah, so basically for the oh, basically for the couch and I have all my notes here. Um, for the couch in the sectional, it was nine hundred and seventy-seven dollars and ninety cents. Um, after getting the couch, um, we were looking at dining room tables. I knew I didn't want to spend anything over a hundred dollars for a table because I obviously we're probably gonna get a new table eventually. And I just needed a black table because we already had these bar stools, which I'll insert a picture here. Um, it was one of my old roommate's chairs. She didn't want them anymore because they were all broken and falling apart, which they still are. I need to fix them. But I was like, you know what, I'll take them. Like, I'm sure we'll use them in an apartment eventually, which came in handy. Um, there were like these blue chairs with the black legs and they were bar stools. So I was like, okay, we need a high top black table. Um, after going back to Big Lots, after we got the couch, I ended up seeing this, this black bar top table. And I was like, oh, it's super cool. It was on clearance. I think it was like a hundred bucks or something like that. And I was like, ooh, I like this table. Of course, I took a picture, sent it to Grant. And I was like, I like this table. And he's like, oh, I don't know. It, like, we don't know how big it is and we don't know if it's going to fit the chairs. I was like, okay, true. I measured the table, like on like my hip to see how high it was so when I got home I could figure out if it was going to fit with our chairs. Um, I ended up going home and after measuring it with my body um, it looked like it was going to fit. So I told Grant, I was like, hey, can we go to Big Lots and look at this table? We went to Big Lots, looked at the table, we really liked it but we were still kind of hesitant about it and we're like, okay, let's wait a day. We ended up going back to Big Lots and this table was gone and they had no other tables like it there. And I was so mad because I really wanted this table. So I started looking at different alternatives um, for this table. I saw one at Ikea that was like $190 something dollars, um, which wasn't bad. It just wasn't like the type of table I was going for. For whatever reason, Ikea's like tables, 
in chairs are really small for whatever reason and I just needed the table and they didn't sell it separately. It came with the chairs which was fine so I was like maybe that. And then my sister ended up sending me a picture of this table that was at Big Lots which was the same table that I wanted. And I was like wait a minute. I was like see if they have it in stock like I'll literally Venmo you money right now to go buy it and I'll pick it up next time I'm home. If they said it was going to take like four to six weeks to be delivered, same thing with our couch. So I was like, okay, never mind. When I come down there, we'll go to Big Lots and I'll see. A couple of weeks went by and I ended up going back to my parents' house and I went to, I think, five to six Big Lots that day to find this table. And like I called them, some people would put me on hold or hang up, so I drove to five different Big Lots probably within an hour distance of each other. Like I went from like the highway down. And the last Big Lots I went to was on the opposite side from where I started, but I got my table. I think I paid, let's see, I think I paid $87 for it because I did have another 20% off coupon, um, which was super nice. Nice because we already had the chairs, so we didn't have to worry about paying for the chairs. Even though when I insert this picture here, this picture here of the table, this is the display model that they had. It had these really cute gray chairs, which I would eventually want to get, but those chairs for a set of two were like $250 and we would need four. And that was just outrageous. So I just got the table and kept the chairs that we had. And I actually bought chair covers for them off of Shein. Um, I think I paid $338 for them. Um, and I'll insert a picture here and then we just put those over the blue and it kind of brings in our gray couch together it brings all the colors in which is awesome and then the next thing we really needed was a entertainment center and where we were gonna put like a TV in our living rooms um, this one was kind of easy I found it right away I just went to walmart.com which walmart.com is pretty nice if you're looking for like bedroom furniture um, side tables entertainment stands totally recommend um, I found a bookshelf and TV stand, and the TV stand was $79, and then the bookshelves that we have right next to it, which I'll insert a clip, those two were $24.88. The total we spent on the entertainment center and the bookshelves, which I consider that all the entertainment center, we spent a total of $123.77, which wasn't bad at all. Alright, so back to actually the video. My camera decided to stop recording literally halfway through the video and I didn't know until I literally wrapped up the video and looked at my camera and literally there was no footage there. So I'm trying to figure out where exactly I left off and I believe I was talking about my TV stands. So after we bought the TV stand and the bookshelves, we needed a new TV for that space. Um, we necessarily didn't need one. Um, I have a 32 inch TV in my bedroom that I don't use anymore because I watch TV downstairs. And we had that downstairs for a while, but we realized it was too small for our space. So we definitely needed a little bit of an upgrade, but I knew I didn't want to spend like that much money on a TV. But I knew I needed a bigger one, so I did have to splurge a bit. This is not necessarily recommended for furnishing your apartment. So you don't need one if you have a TV that works. Keep it. Um, but the TV we ended up buying was a 43-inch 4K Roku TV. Um, the total for the TV was $235.63. Um, it was on sale at Target. It was originally $250. Um, but I had like my target circle and I think there was some kind of special running on the TV as well. And then also um, some stuff I did include in my total price was my chair covers and my pillow covers. Um, I definitely recommend going to Shein and looking for different pillow covers and chair covers for your items if you can because it definitely upgrades your space and you can change them out any time of the year. I do have different color pillows for the different holidays. Like I had green pillows on my couch for Christmas and now I've changed it back to blue. Um, for the standard pillow covers that I'm using now, those were 509 and I have four of them coming out to be a total of $20.36. Um, for my chair covers, there's, those were about $4 each. Um, every time I ordered from Shein, I had different coupons because I would order clothes and stuff from there. Um, but the total for the chair covers came out to be like $13.52 uh, with the discount codes from every time I ordered stuff from Shein. 
So everything I just included there came out to be a total of $1,458.11, which is way under the budget of $2,000. So this left a little bit of room for me to include, especially in this video, some of the decor that we added to our apartment, which isn't necessarily a necessity, but it definitely upgraded our space. Um, stuff that we have on our entertainment center, which are plants. Um, that's like the one thing that I have on the entertainment center. I allowed Grant to decorate however he wanted in his bookshelf, so that's why you see a bunch of anime and like pop figures. That was his one spot, which he slowly started to take over and he wants more. That's definitely not going to happen. We're not getting any more bookshelves. But the plants that I bought, um, I bought them from Target. The one that I have on my entertainment center, it's like a bigger one. That one was like 20 bucks. The other smaller plants that I have stacked on top of the bookcases, those were $5 each, making it a total of $15. Um, the fabric cubes that I have in the actual TV stand, those were, let's see, $4 a piece, um, making them $8 total from Target. Um, placemats that I have on my dining room table, those were $2 from Target. Um, I also included kitchen towels. I didn't include it in any of these clips I've showed you already, but I added that on my kitchen stove just to bring in all the grays from our apartment. Um, let's see. Oh, the kitchen towels were $6. Um, any of the wall art that I have in my apartment, the big giant city one I used to be my background in my older videos. That one was like 20 bucks. I got that from Burlington and actually the, the other wall art, that, the wall behind my couch, that was actually $20 from Burlington as well. Um, other stuff I included was a microwave. Um, our microwave was one of Grant's old roommates. He's lived here for four years so he's gotten like a lot of the different appliances from his roommates. But I looked on Walmart and I did find a very similar one, almost probably the exact one. Um, that was about $50. Um, I did buy new silverware because I just wanted to buy silverware for the new apartment. Um, that was $16. Other things that I also got for the apartment was like a giant gyro race board that has a calendar on it so we can keep track of payday, bills, stuff like that. Um, I also got like this stick on paper for underneath our kitchen area and we hanged up some lights. Um, stick on paper, which is like which is like black chalkboard stick on paper. I got that from Amazon. I think that was like five something. The lights I've had for years, which are probably like around five dollars. But yeah, I think that's basically includes everything that I've spent. I'll do a whole total here, including everything I just talked about because I didn't do the math beforehand. But yeah, so if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and press that subscribe button down below. And leave a comment on what other videos you want to see from me. Um, part two of this video should be coming out shortly, and that's going to be the more of the tips and tricks on how to furnish your apartment for under $2,000. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye, guys.